Hi friends, today we're gonna show you a beautiful four and a half story townhouse here in Teachers Village in Quezon City. If you're looking for a townhouse with four or five bedrooms and you want it near Quezon Avenue, Timog, UP, Ateneo, Miriam, uh, Visayas Avenue here in Quezon City, the heart center, this is a townhouse for you. What, what I like about this townhouse is the location is 15 minutes away from a lot of uh, establishments like Trinoma, 10 minutes away from UP, 10 minutes away from Ateneo, 15 minutes away from Timo. Check this out. Come on. From the outside, as you can see, this is a massive four and a half story, almost five story. I'm gonna show you if you look at here, there's a high ceiling on the third and fourth floor. So very interesting. And if you look at that bridge over there, this is a sky bridge. There are two townhouse units na, na meron silang view of this whole driveway and the whole teacher's village. So this is the hallway, it's for general use. And this is the two car parking. It's wide enough, pwede pa mang motorcycle. And interesting here is, this is the maids or driver's quarters, but they have a washing area. So there's a washing area here, there's some cabinetry works here. This is the CR and the maids room is here. So as you park your car, you will enter here in this master's entry. So let's go in. So there's this foyer here. It's like a transition zone, no? It's very nice, it's partially open. You can put your shoes here. You can feel the outside fresh air, but you feel enclosed. There's also a entrance for visitors. Solid door. This is a nice high ceiling wall. Look at this height, huh? So you can put like an accent painting here, making the entrance more impressive. So let's go. This is the ground floor. Now let's go to the second floor. Welcome to the second floor. So this is not yet the living and dining area. Watch out for the living and dining area on the third floor. But here, it's just like a guest area. No? You can, this is like a TV area where you can entertain your guests. And this space is an open area. It can be a home office, it can be a study area. If you have guests coming over, this can be like a living area. It has a pantry here where you can wash, Prepare some food, space for a small ref, wine rack, and there's a private toilet here also. For me, I would love to have a home office here, put a nice big table in the middle, and make it a study room for my kids. What's nice about this second floor is the open balcony. So, diba? if you're, this can be a place where you can exercise, do your yoga, do your morning stretch, and it has a nice view of the hallway. So the architect designed this area as an entertainment area where you can put sofa here, put the PlayStation, put some TV here, and this can be like a play area. The kids can hang out there. Come on, let's go to the third floor. So this is the third floor, and you'll be amazed at what you will see. Come on. So there you go. Here is the third floor. It's a high ceiling, double height. You'll be surprised. So very, very impressive. Na parang, wow, saan ang galing to? So this is the living and dining area. So you have the kitchen here. It feels like a condo. You have an open kitchen here. You have a bar. Put stools here. And this whole space is your living and dining area. I love the space and the volume that this townhouse has. No? Parang it doesn't feel like a small townhouse. It feels like a small building. And of course, I'm gonna show you the sky bridge. Come on. So this is the third floor. And as you come out of this balcony again, look at this view. So you can look down and you can see the sky. There are two units here that has this sky balcony. You can, you can do your exercise here. Uh, you can even put chairs and table, um, make it a reading area. Really, really comfortable space with lots of fresh air. And on this third floor, there's also a private toilet and a large window to let the sun come in. There is a service kitchen on the second floor, and this is the owner's kitchen. You can entertain your guests here. And on the other side is the pantry. It's a walk-in pantry where you, know, you can store so much space in this walk-in pantry. We are on the third floor, moving to the fourth floor, but I will show you first the mezzanine. So in, in this mezzanine floor, you would have an extra room. It can be for storage, it can be in your bicycles, and it has a large window for the sun to come in. Very interesting architecture. And this is the third floor mezzanine. So very interesting the floor na to because it overlooks the high ceiling living area. 
and this can be a guest room. So you, you have your home office on the second floor where you can entertain visitors and this mezzanine on the third floor can be a visitor's bedroom. So very interesting that the, this is the bedroom of the visitor, this is the area of the bed and para siyang may sariling hotel in the townhouse. So there's a toilet here with shower for the guests and really comfortable space overlooking the living and dining area. So here, you can, it overlooks the living and dining area. So this is the third floor mezzanine overlooking down to the high ceiling living and dining area. Very interesting townhouse, really creative architecture. You're like living in a building. So here in the mezzanine, it's like a design. The architect envisioned this to be a guest room, a visitor's room, which you can also use. So total of three rooms on the fourth floor and one guest room on the mezzanine floor. So we are on the third and a half floor, proceeding now to the fourth floor. If you're the type that you are looking for space, there is so much space in this townhouse. So in this fourth floor, it's the private area. What I like about this fourth floor is, again, big windows to let the sun and the air in. This is like a transition area, parang a family hall. Chairs, table, sofa, study area. So this is like a transition of space before each member of the family goes to their bedroom. So there are three rooms in this floor. Let's look at the, let's look at the rooms. So this is the master's bedroom with a walk-in closet and a very nice toilet. All the rooms have large windows to let the sunlight in. And this is bedroom number two. All rooms will have their ensuite toilet with shower. I like how the toilet is designed. Parang the shower is partly hidden. There's built-in closets already. And there's nice large windows for the sun to come in. And this is bedroom number three. Built-in cabinets and large windows to let the sun in. So I can just imagine living here. It's gonna be bright and comfortable. So there you go. To summarize, you have three bedrooms on the fourth floor. You have a visitor and an extra room on the mezzanine of the third floor. An extra storage room on the third floor mezzanine for, for storage. And now back to the second floor, the entertainment area, and the multi-purpose room with a large terrace. This will be my home office or the study area for the kids. Thank you for joining us in this property tour of four townhouse in Teachers Village. If you're interested to know more about this one, feel free to contact the numbers below. This is Carl B, your property guru, and I hope that you enjoy our property tour.